<laughs> Thank you, dear. All right. Well, we last time we talked, you mentioned that you've put pen to paper and written an episode. Congratulations. I have. Oh, thank you very much. Um, Talk to me about it. You know what's cool? Everyone here is really, really excited and really supportive, and I think that um, that's honestly what the best part of it is. Mm-hmm. I, I sat down and I said, I, what can I do to make the best of season six for myself? Okay. And just the opportunity to, to put pen to paper, to write something, and then to keep it very One Tree Hill oriented, but right. to kind of do my own genre piece at the same time. Yeah, I heard you mention what film noir. So. was really exciting. Uh, we did, um, it's a 30s, late 30s, okay. and uh, we have, uh, it's going to be Haley James, the cabaret singer. And, um, <laughs> we're going to have, uh, instead of a uh, Karen's Cafe, Karen's Cafe is going to be there, but uh-huh. it's more of a... Um, Ricks, like in Casablanca. I don't want to give too much away, but uh-huh, uh-huh. it'll keep yeah, the fans in love with it and being able to pick up on little nuances from all six years of all of Mark's great work. Uh-huh. We, I went and stole little pieces here and there. Awesome, and, uh, awesome. Put them into the show and... It, w- it wasn't easy. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, easy. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Had to introduce the characters, um, bring them together, cause mm-hmm. conflict, and then have an ending mm-hmm. all in less than 44 <laughs> pages. <laughs> exactly. And so it was like a... Was your first draft 44 pages, or did you have to cut it back? Or My first draft was actually 36 pages. Okay. That, 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 I did it well. <laughs> and then I... Um, I went and decided to kind of grow off of some of the ideas, and I got some ideas from our script supervisor, Mike Leon. We sat down over dinner and just went and beat through it. And then I sat down with Mark, and I sat down with Joe Davola, and I sat down with a lot of the guys oh, mm-hmm. that um, have been involved with the show for years and years and years, and we came up with so many great ideas. And you had 54 pages. <laughs> now we're uh, a little over in the scene count. I think we're at 58 mm-hmm. scenes, and I think an average show is about 44 oh. scenes. Okay. But um, they're long scenes. Okay. And All so... Right. Uh, I think that they're really going to enjoy this world that we went and created. It's episode 11 this year, so we'll be shooting it in mid-October. All right. You also, you, Chad, like to paint? What is it kind of like like when I sit down and write and stuff, time just flies. Does does time disappear for you when you're painting? Is that how how the inspiration starts flowing? I mean, time disappears. I sit in my backyard, and my dogs sit with me, and uh, I've got, like, this nice little setup, and it's just peaceful. i got a waterfall and a little water fountain in my backyard, and Mm -hmm. it's just peaceful i'm away from everything it's my own little sanctuary and it just feels nice i mean it's it's tiring and everything else but when i'm doing that or i'm writing um these are just all things that really i enjoy and the next day when i wake up i just feel grateful and glad that i did it and used my time wisely are are you gonna put the director's cap on too for that i am putting the director's cap on this year uh not for that episode no not for that episode i'm i'll be directing uh 14 okay and uh I'm really looking forward to that. I want to see the world behind the camera. I spent mm-hmm. a lot of time in Video Village. I spent a lot of time just studying the craft from everybody's point of view. So I feel like mm-hmm. I really have a good idea of what I'm doing. So the opportunity to go ahead and, and try to take a couple things that I see visually and, and more importantly work with my fellow actors and friends mm-hmm. and try to just get the best performance for a great episode that I, I know Mark's going to hand me. So. Right, right, right. Now, if you're going to direct Jackson... Uh, Paul was mentioning how he makes him stomp or, like, you know, <laughs> sc- the, Bethany and him scream at each other. So we get all the secrets here. That's going to be fun to get out of your friends to get a, a, a great performance. Or what Jackson's going to direct me. He's going <laughs> to tell me how to do it. I'm going to say, Jackson, how would you shoot? you got a lot of fan questions. Brooke is for life. <laughs> <laughs> saying, how, um, how the episode that you wrote ties in the storylines. You were mentioning that, that you, you took pieces of Mark's work. Without selling too much, can you tell Brooke is for life? Okay, how did I tie in... How you tie it all together. You had Um, the cabaret singer. Let's say the catalyst to the story is because of Brugis. Oh. Okay. All right. Remembering back then. All right. I think that's all you need to hear about that. So, Dennis, what is your inspiration? Where's my... What's my inspiration? Um, I am a a monster fan of classic films. I I think that that age in Hollywood was the best. Mm Mm-hmm. I just loved every aspect of cinema back then. I sit and my girl and I, we have every Friday night, we have like an old classic movie night. Oh, yeah. and we've been just going down the list. Mm-hmm. And so I, I really wanted to go ahead and capture that moment mm-hmm. and just 
everyone here I know and on our show, all of our cast members love it so much yeah. that the opportunity for them to kind of go back and play it, especially Joy, by the way. Yeah, yeah. She was She's going to rock it. Excited. I promise you she'll knock it out of the park. I can't wait. And so that's my inspiration.